I don't see any other way out. He's got to be stopped. And I have to stop him. There's one word that we have parted ways with here. Um, and I'm going to explain why that is. This happened uh, a couple of months ago. We had a few of our social media platforms that had this word written on them uh, for a while. And it's been totally removed. Totally, we've totally cut ties, we've cut affiliation with this word. Um, it's one of the worst things that's ever happened to this community. It, it's I think it's caused a lot of the problems and confusion by what's going on here. And that word is what? That word is mainstream. I am so sick of reading this word, seeing this word when it comes to this community. If you go on Brian's page, it's been there. These are mainstream scenes. Main stuff from DID scenes from the mainstream. You had the, the mainstream distressor and the mainstream DID reviews guy. When you use this word mainstream, here is what you are saying. If you say this is a DID scene from the mainstream, if you're saying that, what you're doing is you are saying that there are other DID scenes out there that aren't a part of the mainstream. This is factually inaccurate. If you're making a DID scene, it is for the mainstream. End of story. Our live action titles are mainstream. Our digital creations are mainstream. Anything that is damsel in distress content is mainstream. If it's not mainstream, then guess what? It's not damsel in distress content. It's trash. It's porn. It's fetish. It's BDSM. It's not DID. Do you understand the difference? This goes to our last video. There's no such thing as a non-mainstream DID scene. That's the problem. So when people write this word, and even this guy, there's somebody that has this, uh, this IMDB page now with all the photos of the actresses on IMDB. Maybe you guys have seen this. Um, I'll put a link in the comments section where there's somebody gathering pictures um, there's over a thousand of them and they have the actress's name and the show they were in written there they have yeah, over a thousand different gagged faces it's full treatment scenes which means you know we only have 250 kidnappers corners episodes here it means I got a long ways to catch up to get even just the scenes this guy has and he's missing quite a few that we've already ran here and stuff so there's a lot it's all international US anything you can imagine good for him but again it says Bound and gag damsels in the mainstream. No, not in the mainstream. Just DID scenes. That's it. You don't have to hit the mainstream. It's like saying he's a big tall guy. Sha it's like saying Shaq's tall. You don't need to say it. You know, everyone knows Shaq's tall. If it's DID, it's mainstream. If it's not DID, it's not mainstream. You know, that's, again... It's the same shit. The, 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 the multi-layer tape gags, the ball gags, the, the tied up elbows, the tied up knees. This is the garbage that you don't see in real DID scenes. This is, if you have to understand, if you like these things, if you think that's a good thing to have a woman's elbows and knees tied, if you think that looks good, I'm not judging you. Good for you, okay? But you need to understand that's not damsel in distress. That's not a damsel in distress fetish you have. Okay? That's a humiliation fetish. If you're into seeing multiple pieces of tape on the mouth and multiple get put on, that's called humiliation. That has nothing to do with keeping a person quiet. That has, And tying elbows and knees has nothing to do with keeping a person restrained. Okay? It's, it has nothing to do with damsel in distress storytelling. It's called humiliation fetish. BD, it's a form of BDSM. It, again, has nothing to do with this community. So, again, yes, there have been a very small handful of scenes that have used these methods. And sometimes in those scenes, the woman is being humiliated, or there is some pervert that is the captor, or it's a horror movie. So, overkill is a part of, is a nature of the horror film. All the blood and guts and multiple, too much duct tape like that uh, devil's candy scene. 
Uh, it goes with it. Does it look good? No, it looks terrible. But horror movies typically look terrible. And there's probably blood all over their face, too. Real DID scenes, like 24, like that. Okay, they don't use this garbage. Okay, imagine how bad it would have looked, how terrible, if Alicia Cuthbert would have had multiple pieces of tape on her mouth. That would have been disgraceful, disgusting. Okay, embarrassing. Would, would, have made, would make that scene fall to the toilet instead of being one of the greatest scenes ever. All those scenes. Okay? So, again, if you're into it, good for you. But understand what it is that you're into. It's, that's not, it has nothing to do with damsel in distress. I'm telling you that. It should be obvious. So, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say about that. You know, I'm tired of seeing this stupid word, mainstream, thrown around. You know... And, well, there's one other stupid word people have been using, too. Some people calling DID scenes kinky. How's that kinky? Kinky is what you do in a bedroom with your partner. You know, it has nothing to do with it. Again, it nothing to do with a damsel in distress scene. Nothing at all. It's a crime fiction scene in a movie. I, just, I can't stand, I, I hate these perverts coming in here and trying to, like, to, to mess this up. It's, it's frustrating. But then again, when you spent so much of your time trying to build something like this and you know, correct the mistakes of the last 20 plus years out of frustration in dealing with it, it's funny because you, you see me right here running all of this and you're thinking, well, this guy, you know, he's not like, ten, he's not like, you know, 19 years old or something. He must have been around in this community prior to this. He must have been behind the scenes doing something going under some other name. No. I have no affiliation with this DID community until I started this. I use Brian's page sometimes, but I was never on any of these forums or any of this other stuff or going around uh, even on the videos on YouTube commenting or anything like that. I had given up even trying to find scenes on YouTube for the longest time because so many accounts always and videos got terminated and stuff because people don't know how to use YouTube that I didn't even, you know, it's, no. I, I, I wasn't I wasn't involved in this community until about three years ago. So, you know, stuff had to be cleaned up. Something had to be done. And I was the one who had to do it. And apparently people thank me for that. They understand what's been going on here. Um, you know, like I said in the last video, the days of the inmates running the asylum here are finished. They're going to go back in their cells. And I'm, I'm taking over. We're, we're taking over. This community, the real DID fans are taking over. And the BDSM pornographer fetishers can go back to their corner. Like, we're just, I'm, I'm done with it. Done dealing with that shit. So, that's all I have to say. I'm going to watch a mainstream scene. A mainstream movie. Stupid. All right. See ya. I don't see any other way out. He's got to be stopped. And I have to stop him.